Hey everyone, I'm getting a little more prolific now. Yay! Um, basically, I want to do a Let's Play announcement. Um, if you were subscribed to my channel in the past, and a few of you have seen the videos, I had Redemption Cemetery up. Uh, this was before I figured out how to actually use Bandicam properly. Um, so it's not very good. It was before I registered Bandicam, so yeah, a lot of things glitched and it wasn't really good. So I, yeah, I deleted it. I deleted it because I'm going to redo it and do it right. I'd already played it before I did the whole, uh, thing with the channel, so... Um, and on top of that, I have the other Redemption Cemetery games. I attempted to do the second one, but I couldn't sync up the sound right with the way I was doing it. So now I have figured out how to do it right, and yay, I can do it, and it won't look really stupid. Um, so I figured I'd just delete the old video. As much as I'd want to archive it, I'm not going to get rid of it off of my computer or anything. I just deleted it from my channel so it wouldn't be cluttering it up. Um, I'm going to redo it, and I can actually do it chapter by chapter, and it'll actually look good. Um, also, uh, I do have a few other, uh, Let's Plays I'm planning, um, during this year, new year, new sets of Let's Plays I want to do, so, but I think I'll focus on Redemption Cemetery for the year rather than, you know... <laughs> what I used to do, which was like for the month. Um, I'll probably do like little Let's Plays as well. I have a few like freebie games I'm downloading. Well, not freebie, but a few games I'm downloading from this month. I've been buying games every other month now because, you know, last year we hit some financial snags, so I'm going to be good and, you know, spend half what I would a year, which is every other month rather than every month. Um, and I started doing that last year anyway. Um, also, I may pick up doing rants again, uh, depending if something pisses me off. Um, I will continue to do the Planeswalker reviews. I put one up recently, obviously. Um, the main reason I didn't was because I was busy and or sick. <sighs> I'm still kind of am. Apologies. Um, I may start the party thing the how to host party uh, videos, which will just be me talking. Um, I want to email a particular comic writer because I want to do a reading of one of his comics because it would be great voice practice for me. I've done it a couple of times. I'll start reading creepypastas again. Um, there's one that if I get into like a bad enough mood I may start writing on it again. This one's like my bad mood venter where I just hate people randomly. Um, it was turning out really well, too. So I may start doing it, working on it again. Um, but I definitely want to do creepypasta readings again. I just have to find ones that appeal to me, because I don't want to do ones that were, like, done to death or done by other people. Um, although the one I do want to do is the creepypasta survival guide, because that would be really funny to do. But I keep fucking it up. And I want to do it in a way with, like, Flourish. And I want to restart my Holder series. Though, I'm not going to say I'm going to do that this year. Um, I have to see what number I was on and then find the Holder's Wiki and <laughs> start from there. Or just delete them and revamp the whole thing again. Um, with the proper symbol and all that. Um, and do it more like a news broadcast is kind of my plan. Um, you know... Welcome to the Holders Broadcast, the, welcome to the HNN, the Holders News Network. Because I'm a twisted little creep like that. And plus, I kind of see them more as comedy than horror, like, personally. I like them, I just see them more as comedy, because some of the objects are just really freaking weird. Um, I mean, yes, they're horror in the sense of this shit happens to you and it's really bad, but it's also, like, not horror to me. Um, it, it's one of those things, I can't explain it. 
But now that I figure out how to work Bandicam a bit better, I can do it better. It'll have a slightly better production value. Eventually I'll get editing software and I'll start actually doing things like editing, um, slideshows, things like that. Um, maybe do slightly higher quality, but for now, you know, I'm a low budget channel, let's face it. Um, but I'll probably be a little more pro polarific. <laughs> I can't talk. Pol polar a little more active in posting. I, I feel like freaking Porky Pink now. Beep, 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 beep. I can't even, I can't even say that. I know, like, you guys know the word I'm trying to say, and I'm just fucking it up. Um, so, yeah, and I'm downloading a bunch of games. Um, Big Fish is giving away free games now, which is kind of cool, so I've started uh, downloading a bunch of them because I can, uh, because waffles. Uh, pol pol polarific. I, why can't I say that word? It's going to drive me crazy now. Ugh, I hate Apologies. Um, obviously something started up. Started to install. I'm checking on things, basically. I'm gonna have more stuff. And more stuff is good, because that means I have more stuff to LP for you guys. Uh, let's see. So there's any like new free to play games while I'm here. Um, yeah, so I'm checking out the new free to play games. Uh, yes, I will start doing um, the games in a format of intro and then the gameplay. Um, I don't know if I'll do blind let's plays. I'll probably say those for non collector's editions, which I do have a few of that I'm downloading because. Um, the problem I have is a lot of collector's editions have, in the past, content for the, uh, um, for the material in the game for the collector's bonus adventure, and I don't like that really that much. Like, it's, you know what, it's one of those, I know what's going to happen because I, I kind of went through the aftermath. Um, I mean, it's nice to know, but I kind of already know what happened. Um, so there's no point to me playing this. This is boring. This is stupid. Um, I understand they're trying to give you more of the backstory to uh, show what the hell's going on, but it really doesn't feel that way. Um, the only one I might do is um, one called uh, for ink, uh, ink and oil or something like that. I, I, ink and glass. Ink and glass. Because part of the story happened while in the present as well as part of it in the past. Um, so... It's just one of those things where, um... Yeah, it's just one of those things where I'd rather, uh, do it that way rather, um than, um, any other way. But, I may start doing the Mr. Case Files. I may start with Ravenhurst rather than doing the other two. Um, Ravenhurst is still a pain in the ass to play because it's still more in the old style of hidden object games. But, the reason I want to start with Ravenhurst is because, uh, Case Files 1 and 2 just kind of give you the backstory of your detective on why you're so respected, but they can be played kind of out of order from the rest of the games, like for fun if I run out of some stuff to play. But, um, there's not much story to them. The other, from Ravenhurst to the most recent one, which is the sequel to Madame Fate's Carnival, have an interconnected story. I may skip one or two of them, and save them for, like, a random Let's Play, because I don't know what else to do. 
But that would be more because they're not as intricately connected to the story as, say, the rest of them. Like, uh, the games I would be guaranteed to play for the story first are Ravenhurst, Madame Fate's Carnival, Return to Ravenhurst, Dire Grove, which is my personal favorite of the series, um... Escape from Ravenhurst, I believe, was after that, because in between was the 13th Skull. Um, and the Madam Fate, the current Madame Fate's Carnival is the next one in that storyline, which I still have to play, because I just bought it today. Um, so, from one, so the, that's the storyline, the Ravenhurst storyline, I call it. Um, the Ravenhurst arc. Um, and obviously there's Mr. Case Files 1 to the 13th Skull. What was the name of the other one? Fuck. There was one that called like a mask and all that shit, and I forgot what it was called. Because I'm an idiot. Um, but, yeah. And I have it, too. It was actually really fun. It was a very interesting story, and I'm hoping it'll actually start a new arc. And if it does, you know, I can go into that and do that arc after um, the Ravenhurst arc. I don't think 13 Skull will start one because it's kind of a solid ending. Like, this is how it ends, the end. Um, I don't expect me to 100% complete any of the Mystery Case file games after um, Dire Grove uh, because I haven't. Um, but I do like the games. I kind of think Thirteenth Skull is the weakest entry in the series at the moment. I think Dire Grove is their strongest one so far because it was really good. Um, and I could play it separately, but the reason I consider it in the arc is because it happens right after Return to Ravenhurst. Like, literally, like, you're just leaving Ravenhurst when this shit happens. Yeah, I may do that as a special Blizzard Let's Play. Um... It's kind of, because technically it's not in the Ravenhurst cycle, but it's kind of part of it, kind of not. Um, but I would do that, and the Collector's Edition has lots of little cute little bonuses and shit like that. Um, and I have fun playing it. Um, it's not an easy game by any means. Um... But I can get all the achievements, I can find all of the uh, little collectibles, it's a simple little collectathon, and it's just freaking. some of it, it, it's also a throwback to those, um, those video games from like the 90s, remember with the cheesy uh, live action video in the middle, uh, the full motion video shit? Um, it's a throwback to those, and I really like it. You know, for me, it's nostalgic. It's done well, though. It's not like the choppy, because obviously you're not loading from a disc or anything like that, but they use live actors. Um, Ayers is starting to go in that direction, but they kind of veer away from it, too. Like, it, um, it's weird. Um, they have a couple of games where it's live action, and they have a, a lot of, a lot of their games are more the animation that you've seen on this channel. Um, yeah, I still have to do the uh, Maestro thing. Um, I'm probably going to do that eventually, too, if I just have no idea what I'm going to upload. Um, <laughs> I do intend to do it, if only because I want you to see me screaming at Francois on the third one, which I do, like, three or four times, and I do find that a little freaking amusing. I, I don't know why. Um, and so there's that. There's also, um... But a lot, a lot more games are doing the live action thing from the hidden object world, so it's kind of interesting to see them go into that. Um, uh, after seeing them, seeing the progression in other video games that are in more advanced consoles like the PS4 and more advanced video games from the computer that you would buy. Um, I'll also see if I can do a let's play of Woodruff and the Bizarre Adventures of Woodruff and the Schnibble. Um, if YouTube does another Geek Week, I may do it for that, or I may do it for my birthday week, um, because that would be kind it's one of my favorite games of all time, and I would love to play it. Uh, I can actually get the Corandia games now from, 
uh, GOG so I can get the first one and I can get the um, the third one. I, obviously I have the second one and it works fine and I already played that. Um, but I'd have to get walkthroughs for both of them. Um, one for the freaking cave in number one and the Malcolm one, the third one, oh fuck you need a walkthrough for that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember how hard that game was. It was a fucking nightmare. Um, and it's probably the biggest of the Corandia games, and I'm kind of sad they don't make them anymore, because they were a good series, and the world was really interesting, and really messed up, um, in a good way, not in a bad dystopian way, but in an actual good way. Um, on top of that, um, if, say, New Daymare Town came out, I'd be playing that, obviously, but there doesn't need to be any word on that, and 4 did feel like the final one, although if there is a fifth one, oh, please let there be a fifth one, please. I really like the Daymare Town series. Um, there's also, um, granted I thought 3 would be the last one because the guy left town, but, um, so I didn't have high hopes for a four, but there was a four, although it felt more final, though exploring the new town would be kind of neat. Like you have to, like you're forced to return to Daymare Town or something. I don't know. I, it's just me being weird. Um, hold on, folks. Sorry about that uh, phone call from a friend. Uh, I have a few friends that work for the state, and they're kind of stuck working in the snow. So, yeah. But they're making overtime, so I guess that's good. Well, anyway, I'll shut the video down now anyway. Um, good luck. Uh, hopefully, if you're in one of the snowbound areas like I am now, uh, it's not too terrible. Um, and, once again, I reiterate... Here's to a new year, where I'll probably be a little more prolific and a little more fun. Bye!